So obviously we're in some canyon, but where the hell are we? Well, Johnson Valley, but uh, we just came up Wrecking Ball, and Wrecking Ball keeps going that way into the sun, and this is Bender Alley. There's a lot of different options here. Yeah, this is pretty much the gatekeeper, as they call it. Um, pretty much the line over there is the, the main gatekeeper, and it looks like there are some other routes to get around these big boulders. So now get... as we look at main gatekeeper, and as, as I take this laser and I put the light up there, we can see this little valley. So I would get, myself, I would get fixated on this valley on how to get my vehicle through there. But what do you do in a 4400? A 4400, the way I would approach this is I'd come right, right across these rock faces to keep the, keep the tires high so you don't hit any diffs. And I would take my driver's side tire right where really? that, and go right on up that and split the V and get the rear tire on it right there and then just give a little throttle with some momentum and go right over the top of it. And so that's not going to throw you to the right into that 45 face? No, being that it's already kind of on a slope that you really can't tell, and you're actually splitting the V and keeping the weight load so it's, it's, it's level. And one of the things that I know is different about up here is that we're getting away from a lot of the dirt, so you're getting a lot more traction when it comes to rubber, tire compound, and the rock, correct? Definitely. All right, we have a lot more things to go look at. Let's go check it out. Let's do it. I mean, this is a legit obstacle here. This is a major diff hanger going on up here. So a lot of guys could go over here to the left, but you can see, so if you look up here, there's a reason why they call it Bender Alley, because you bend a lot of sheet metal, and uh, a lot of sheet metal has been bent through these rocks. So they're large, they're in charge, and they don't move. Like that rock there, that rock does not move, and that is a diff hanger. So the IFS cars, especially if you're IFS front and rear, you got an advantage right here. You can put a tire here, a tire here, and crawl right up that, where if you have a diff, you got to make sure that diff doesn't hit that peak of the rock right there.